everyone, Jamie Madison here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be playing with the Simon Says Stamp. This is the October card kit. So with this kit you're going to get Gina K foils, some Yupo paper. You're also going to get these little uh, pre-stamped images that work with the foils if you have a laminator. So for this card we're going to be using some foils, the Yupo paper, and the alcohol ink that also comes in this kit. It came with a beautiful stamp set as well. It also came out with some alcohol lift ink. But for this card, I'm just going to be using the foil, Yupo paper, the stamp, and the alcohol inks. I'm not going to be using the blue one, but I will be using the sunset yellow and the sunset orange. So with these alcohol inks, I'm going to be using um, a couple of the ones I already have, along with some blending solution. Now to start this card off, I'm going to take my Yupo paper, and it, I put a piece of paper behind it, and that's just to protect my cutting mat from the alcohol ink. And what it does is it doesn't actually leak through the Yupo paper, but it does sometimes run off if you have a whole bunch of alcohol ink on your Yupo paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start off with my cranberry. I'm going to go around and just start putting dots everywhere. A little goes a long way, so don't try and squeeze too hard. Sometimes you can even just tap the back of the bottle and it will come out as well. I'm then going in with my sunset orange and I'm just going to be placing these pretty much wherever the white is. I want to fill the paper up first and then I can go in and start adding you know, some different uh, techniques to get a little bit of a different look than just the circles. Then I'm going to go in with my sunshine yellow and then to follow up with my teak wood. I love the teak wood. Teak wood was my pretty much favorite um, alcohol ink so far that I've used because I like that brown color and anytime you add it to other inks it makes it nice and warm to me at least. And you could also get some really cool Halloween looks uh, using that teak wood as well. If you mix that in with a red or the cranberry, it can look a little like uh, blood in a way. So it can look pretty uh, creepy if you want it to. So then I'm going to go in with my blending solution. And I'm just going to put that everywhere. I kind of just want to get these colors moving. That blending solution helps the alcohol ink move more fluidly on the Yupo paper. So if I wasn't to add that, I wasn't going to be able to get much movement with my alcohol inks. So I'm just going to just repeat the process that I just did. Cranberry, sunset, orange, sunshine, yellow, uh, teak wood. I'm not going to add more blending solution at the end. Um, instead, I'm just going to kind of move my paper around. And that's because that solution is still on there. So it made my alcohol inks nice and watery so I could get a different kind of look and just kind of move everything around. Now you could put a little bit of the blending solution on your Yupo paper before you even start and that would keep your alcohol inks still moving and they wouldn't dry so quickly. So I let this dry just for a few minutes until I could see just a little bit of a shine. I probably could have let this dry just a tad bit longer but I was still unsure. I don't use alcohol inks very often. This kit was the first time I've used alcohol inks and I really, really enjoy them. So for this I'm going to be using a nice gold. I want this to be like a fall color and you can see my little phone camera up at the top that I use to record my videos. And I'm just going to smooth this down. I'm going to use a light hand at first just to get everything together. And then I use my bone folder to really press down. I'm pressing pretty hard, believe it or not. This stuff does not tear very easily, so you don't have to be, you don't have to be too careful. So as I pull it off, you can see a lot of that foil did stick. But in the center, I probably could have waited a little bit longer and it would have stuck even better. But I'm going to be putting something over that anyways, so I really like the way it looked and I decided to keep it. I'm now going to be using my Ultra Black cardstock. This is the cardstock I got from Witchinary. It is a hundred and I believe she's I believe it's a hundred and seventy pound cardstock. It's a very heavy cardstock. And then I'm just going to use the Yupo paper that we just did with our alcohol inks. I cut that down just to be a little bit smaller than an A2 size card, so I could have that black border. I went ahead and used my double-sided foam tape and put that on the back of our alcohol ink background. I'm now going to use my ATG runner so I can adhere that black cardstock onto my A2 size base. I just love the way this black cardstock is. I'm going to stock up on this so I can never run out. This, I just, yeah, I just love this cardstock. And as you see, sometimes I'm not always perfect. I sometimes mess up and 
um, get it a little off center. So I just rip it back off and replace it. And if I need to add some extra tape, I will, but it doesn't mess up the inside or the outside because you're not going to see either one. So then I just went ahead and added my alcohol ink background onto that. So I have a nice black border. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my stamp and I'm going to do something a little different with this. This you have to be a little bit careful. You want to make sure your alcohol ink had plenty of time to dry. This is actually the next day. I didn't want to take any chances on the background being at all whatsoever damp or wet. So I'm going to take my Versafine in Onyx Black and I'm going to stamp this twice on my background. And as you see, it did not stamp in the corner because my foam tape did not go all the way to the edge. So what I did was I just took a little piece of foam tape and stuck it under there and then just re-stamped that. And then when I just removed that little foam tape, it stuck a little bit, but it didn't tear anything. Just had to uh, really work it out there. So then I'm going to take that VersaFine while it's still wet, and I'm going to heat emboss this with my black onyx embossing powder. Like I said, you don't want this to be at all tacky whenever you emboss on this background, because then that embossing powder would have stuck everywhere. So whenever you are heat embossing on Yubo paper or with alcohol inks, you have to be very careful because that Yubo paper will warp very quickly. So what you want to do is you want your tool to be super hot. I mean, I would say twice as long as what you normally would let it heat up. And you just want to just lightly just hit it and then go back and forth, back and forth. Not enough to actually get it so hot that it's going to warp your paper, but you just want to keep flicking it back and forth across that heat embossing and it is going to melt it but it's not going to warp your Yupo paper. What I also did is because when I went across the image my foil kind of shriveled up a little bit so I just finished going across that whole page to make sure all the foil matched. And I really like it because it kind of brought that foil up more. I went ahead and heat embossed um, some gold, this sending hugs on that black paper that I used for my background and then I just placed that with some double foam tape in the center and there you have it there is my card I just really love the way this turned out I like the black embossing on this as well and that gold just really shines this is a beautiful fall card and I do want to let you know that I will be changing my schedule for my videos. They're going to be posted on Thursdays now instead of Wednesdays. So please come back every Thursday. I will have a video and sometimes I even get bonus videos out on the weekend. I'm also doing live feeds on Instagram Saturday night with Witchinary around 9 o'clock my time, so central time. So if you want to jump over to Instagram and watch me and her team up and do a dual card, please join us. We would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You have a great rest of your day, and I will see you later. Bye.